So someone had a question, why is xylitol dangerous for dogs? Well, it's not dangerous for humans and other animals, but dogs have a different metabolism for xylitol. Xylitol is a sugar alcohol. It's used in gums as an alternative to sugar. It's used in toothpaste. They even use it for sinus remedies to actually clear out some mucus in your sinuses. Uh, it also helps reduce placking on your teeth. It's in a lot of keto um, cookies and baked goods. It's in medications, lotions, and gels, and chewable vitamins, sugar-free mints. It's in a lot of different things, but you want to make sure that your dog doesn't get a hold of this. Um, why? Because it creates a massive insulin release, okay? So normally, carbohydrates will create a massive insulin release, but for dogs, you get this spike in insulin when they consume xylitol. So what this is going to do, it's going to bring the blood sugars way down. It's going to cause hypoglycemia. And that is the, uh, the side effect from xylitol. Uh, weakness, staggering, uh, the dog could start vomiting. Um, and if the amount is greater than 5 grams per kilogram of weight, uh, there could be some liver toxicity and damage. So you want to bring your dog to the vet, and they'll usually do a treatment. They may do an intravenous uh, glucose treatment to raise the blood sugar up to handle this hypoglycemia. But there you have it. Now you know why xylitol is not good for dogs. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.